Avast me mateys, how well do you know ye pirate slang? I have no idea where that accent came from. Hello and welcome back to the Daily Weekly Show Season 9. Yes, we made it, or at least I did. So tomorrow is Talk Like a Pirate Day and I thought what better way to get ready for Talk Like a Pirate Day than to actually brush myself up on my pirate slang because I think I know a fair bit. You know, I'm a big fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean films, but how well do I really know? So I'm gonna put myself to the test today with a couple of pirate slang quizzes. And if I get the answer wrong, I have to take a shot from this drink by the good captain, Captain Morgan himself. So over the course of this episode, I could end up taking 20 shots of rum, which uh, isn't something I plan to do today. And if you wanna know how to make your very own tinfoil pirate hat, don't forget to watch the latest episode over on Daily Weekly Extra, where I tell you just how to do it. And if you want to take part in these quizzes yourself, I'll put the links to them in the description and let's get started. So this one is the Pirate Slang Trivia Quiz on funtrivia.com. And I think there's 10 questions and they've all got four multiple choice options. And oh, there's a hint available. Hmm. I can't make it too easy for myself now. If I need to take a hint, I should probably have to take a shot. What is a cat o' nine tails? Is it a whip used for flogging, a cat who is possessed, a pretty barmaid, or a drink enjoyed by pirates? I actually don't know this one. Well, that's a great start. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have to take a shot on the first question, but I guess that's good for your views, right? When I hear that, I think it has to do something with either, well, a cat or nine. All right, cats have nine lives. So I think the hint removes two possible answers. So it's like a 50-50. Sure, why not? I'll, I'll take the hint, which means I have to take a shot. Can't be too bad, right? I like this drink. Cheers, Captain Morgan, not a sponsor. But hey, if you want to sponsor us, then you know where to find us. Oh God, I haven't drank in so long. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh God, my hat fell off. Okay, right, what's the hint then? Okay, so it's not a cat who was possessed and it's not a pretty barmaid. It's either a whip used for flogging or a drink enjoyed by pirates. Well, I know pirates like rum, stereotypically. Well, I guess a tail could be like a whip. I'm gonna go for a whip used for flogging. Oh, it doesn't tell me? Do I have to find out at the end? Oh no, it looks like I ended up taking multiple shots at the end. I thought I'd have to do it after each question. Okay, number two. What does it mean in pirate jargon to feed the fish? A, retire from pri piracy. B, to be thrown into the sea. C, throw food into the sea. Or D, to be flogged. See, now it's got retire from piracy and now I think, hmm, feed the fish. Like, I'm retired now, I can take care of my pet fish, but I don't think that's what the pirates run about here. I think it's B, to be thrown into the sea. I don't know if I got that right or wrong, I have to find out at the end. Number three, what is the dead man's chest? Well, I saw Pirates of the Caribbean too, so I think I know this one. Is it where a pirate keeps his booty, an empty rum bottle, cold storage for food on a journey, or a coffin? A dead man's chest for a coffin is kind of too on the nose. Maybe it is a coffin. What happened in Pirates of the Caribbean 2? Well, Davy Jones's heart was in the chest, right? So maybe it's like a coffin? Or it is a treasure? See, I bet if I take a hint, it's gonna leave those two answers, and I think it's between them. Oh, is it worth it? Ah, uh, okay. No, it didn't. Right, so it's either an empty rum bottle or a coffin. I'm gonna have an empty rum bottle once I've finished this video. Okay, so that means I have to take another shot because I took a hint. Oh, God. You know, usually I like to drink my rum with Coke or like Cherry Pepsi Max. It's actually a good mix. No ice. But, yeah, I don't do shots of rum. I don't do shots of anything. I'm old and boring. Well, I think it's gonna be a coffin then, in that case. I guess that was too obvious, but... <sighs> My hat's gonna fall off again. Why am I ever thinking this? Because I don't wanna do it, that's why. How many shots is bad for you, for someone who doesn't drink alcohol? Oh. Not as bad as the first, Bob. What is another name for the hangman? Black Bart, John Quelch, Henry Avery, or Jack Ketch? I've heard of Jack Ketch and Black Bart. 
And I think Henry Avery is probably like a, I don't know, I feel like that's a real person. You know, like Captain Cook. Hmm, Henry Avery. It sounds like a real name. Black Bart though, because didn't the hangman used to wear like all black with the hood and everything? Okay, I'm gonna go for Black Bart on that one. Uh, number five, what would pirates call empty bottles? Goners, dead ladies, dead men, or dead lights? Goners, that just seems like something you'd call like a, a dead person. Is that right? Would you call a dead person a goner? I would. Dead lights is, is calling out to me. I don't know why, but that's what I think I'm gonna go for. So we'll go for dead lights. I was tempted to take a hint, but you know, I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> what is a cackle fruit? A fruit that makes you laugh, chicken eggs, green apples, or coconuts? I've never heard of this term, cackle fruit. Think pirates, the Caribbean, generally, <laughs> coconuts. Hmm, but in parts of the Caribbean, Barbosa like to eat green apples. It's not a fruit that makes you laugh, that's just too obviously silly, so it's not that one. Maybe coconuts was a bit more exotic, so many people didn't know what they were, so they would call it a cackle fruit. I'm gonna go for coconuts. Who was a powder monkey? Boys who swapped the decks, boys who carried the gunpowder to the guns, boys who cooked the meals on the ship, or boys who served as lookouts. Oh, it's got to be the gunpowder for the guns, right? That one's too easy. This is where I get it wrong, and I have to take another shot at the end. Wait, oh, what is a barker? A sword, an ax, a hatchet, or a pistol? See, I feel like a pistol, you know, when you fire a pistol, it makes a, a noise. The others, like, don't really, do they? But I've never heard of that term for a pistol like maybe it's barking, you know, when you fire it, but a sword, an axe, or a hatchet. And an axe and a hatchet are pretty similar, aren't they? I just don't know. I feel like it's pistol because it would make a noise. Do I take a hint? It's only going to take away two answers, and I mean, that isn't really going to help me here. I need like an actual clue. Okay, yeah, so it's either a hatchet or a pistol. So don't worry, I'm going to take the shot in a moment. I just want to answer this question first before I get too drunk. God. <sighs> Cheers. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh. Oh. <coughs> oh my God. What is a corker? A drink to celebrate a victory at sea, a special cannon used by pirates only when battling Spain. That's rather niche and specific. A drink that was taken when the captain of a ship died, an alcoholic drink taken after a drinking bout. Hmm. Again, the hint is only going to take away two answers. So I need like actual clues. It's spelt like C A U L K, like cork, like decorators to cork. <laughs> but maybe they use that when they're doing some maintenance around the house. It can't be a special cannon used by pirates only when battling Spain. Like, I know the Spanish, you know, and pirates, I think they had some conflicts. I'm torn between a drink to celebrate a victory at sea or a drink that was taken when the captain of a ship died. But then if I take the hint and those two are left, that's not gonna help me and I'll have to take another shot. And I, I don't want to keep taking shots. What the hell, you only live once, I'll take the hint. Oh, no, you only get three hints per quiz and I've used all three, so I can't take a hint. <laughs> so that means I won't have to take another shot now, but if I get, any, if I get it wrong, I still have to take another shot then. What do you think the answer is? Put it in the comments. I'm gonna go for, oh, I really don't know. A drink to celebrate a victory at sea, fine. But I don't think it's that. <laughs> what are you doing if you're dancing the hempen jig? Swimming, being hanged, getting drunk, climbing the ship's mast. I think, because when you're being hanged, right, you, you know, you're struggling, your body kind of reacts, there's like you're nothing you can do. So I think it's being hanged, because you're kind of just like, you know, shaking, I guess, and before you, die and just hang there. So I'm gonna go for being hanged. I'm pretty confident for that one. Okay, now it's time for the answers. So question one, what is a cat of nine tails? And I answered a whip used for flogging. And that is correct. And they say, the expression, let the cat out of the bag may be derived from this. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. Flogging to me, seems like you're getting rid of something or you're selling it, which I guess, but then if I said, let the cat out of the bag, I feel like I'm like, Revealing a secret. 94% of players have answered that correctly. Interesting. Number two, what does it mean in pirate jargon to feed the fish? And I answered to be thrown into the sea and that was correct. Dead or alive, if you're thrown into the sea, you're feeding the fish. 
and 96% of players answered this correctly. Ooh, number three. What is the dead man's chest? And I answered a coffin, but I think I took a hint on that one, didn't I? So if a pirate was not deemed worthy of a proper burial in a coffin, his body would be sent to rot in the gibbet or cage all hung at the gallows. And only 61% of players got that answer correct. Interesting. Oh no, I've just looked at the next few results. Let's just say I'm gonna take a fair few more shots. It was going so well. Number four, what is another name for the hangman? And I answered Black Bart. The correct answer was Jack Ketch, which I had heard of, I think I said, but I didn't think it was that. If told you were going to dance with Jack Ketch, you were going to be hanged. And only 46% of players got that answer Correct, so less than half. But there we go. I'll have to take it. I might as well just start drinking from the bottle at this point. Okay. Oh dear. Here we go. <laughs> Number five. What would pirates call empty bottles? And I said dead lights, but the correct answer was dead men. Oh. Deadlights were what they called eyes. Only 50%, 57% of players have answered that correctly. So that means I've got to take another shot. I'm really starting to feel it now. Like, you can tell I don't drink often. I've lost count of how many shots I've took. If you want to let me know in the comments, I'd appreciate that. Okay. Now, I did the last one quick. <laughs> I'm slurring my speech now. I drank the last one pretty quick. I didn't hold it in my mouth like I did it for some of the ones at the beginning. Just gotta swallow it and get it down. Whew. Yeah. I'm getting the hang of this now. Just look at this face. Don't I look happy? Okay, number six. What is a cackle fruit? And I answered coconuts. But the correct answer was chicken eggs. If a pirate did not eat enough fresh fruit, he would contract scurvy, a deficiency of vitamins and minerals. <laughs> they could prevent scurvy by placing limes in the drink. Oh, look at that. Even the pirates back in the day like to you know, add a little lime to their drink. That's nice. Okay, so that means I have to take another shot. That's... that's more than I was filling up. That's the full thing. I was going slightly under before. I just, I don't want to do it. Do oh, I have to do it? Ah, oh, I was supposed to film more episodes after this. <laughs> oh, that was the worst yet. Okay, let's do this. Right, number eight. What is a Barker? And I answered pistol. And the correct answer was pistol. I got it correct. No shot for me. Good to know. So pirates carried a brace of pistols, a belt of two pistols that are primed and loaded to save time and if they're loading pistols between battle. Yes, I remember that. I had a toy version of the flintlock pistol from Captain Jack when I was a kid. Loved it. And I used to dress up as Captain Jack all the time. Any opportunity, that was it. So what is a corker? Oh, here we go. This is the one I was stuck on forever and I got it wrong. So you know what that means. More of the good captain over there. So I said a drink to celebrate a victory at sea and the correct answer was an alcoholic drink taken after drinking bout. That wasn't even what I considered so I dismissed that straight away. Pirates consumed a lot of alcohol in their voyages. It is said that some ships carried three times as many barrels of beer as they did of water. The infamous pirate grog was basically rum with lemon juice, sugar and other spices added. Hmm, I like lemon juice. I might have to make my own pirate cocktails. That'd be an interesting video. Only 36 percent of players answered this correctly so not many people at all I've never heard of it but I've got to take another shot why did I do this is it for the views the subscribers I hope so I hope you're enjoying this but for YouTube's advertising guidelines this is not alcohol this is just um you know it's, it's, it's dyed water really you know just in the bottle this is the last shot so I should be happy I did it the glass is empty Right, final question. What are you doing if you're dancing the hemp and jig? Yes, I got it correct. Most ropes used for hanging were made from hemp. Ah, that wasn't the reason why I thought that was correct. I thought you were just, you know, dangling there. And 72% of players answered that correctly. So I got six out of 10 in total, and I scored uh, 90 fun trivia points. And the average score for this quiz is only seven out of 10. So just one below average, which is, you know, you could describe that for me in every category in life. I answered the pirate slang Turns out I know just slightly more than 
Average? Well, no, maybe slightly less. More than half, but less than average. That's a good ratio to have in life. Let me know how you did it in the comments below. And hey, did you play along using your own non-alcoholic drink? Obviously, wink, wink, right, YouTube? Uh -huh. And of course, don't forget to watch the episode on Daily Weekly Extra where you can find out how to make your very own tinfoil pirate hat because I know you all want one. Yeah, but this is my one. Yeah, tell me your scores in the comments and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see you all in the next episode of The Daily Weekly Show. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.